So, what stops other five Eastern State governors from emulating from Wike in River State? Why is Enugu governor receiving all the alamajuris from Zamfara go to Enugu State today? Almost half of Zamfara and Marjorie are in Enugu State. And the fools are looking up to 2023. You are looking up to 2023. We are Usman uh, Ahmad Velo have told you that they will never allow you to rule over there. That they will never allow you to have control over the future. And you are jumping up over 2023. It is high time you talk about Nigeria disintegration. You believe it, not even talking about it, because according to our leader, Mazen Nandekano and IPOB, we don't have time, no room again for dialogue. Because you were told to come for dialogue. And you are saying, Is it these miscreants, what can they do? Now you have seen the weight of IPOB. It is high time you support IPOB. It is high time you know that Ahmad Bello have told you that the new nation, Nigeria, is their own great-grandfather's estate, which you will never have control over. The Eastern governors who are thinking that by the time they will actualize the Fulani agenda, that they will possess the land of Biafra, that their children will become ministers of this or, or that. You are just dreaming. You are dreaming because the Fulanese will never allow you to rule over them. They will never give you what you think they can give to you. All they are promising you will never come to pass. Whatever you see them have given to you today is just a Greek gift. Do you know, do you know why the Fulanese have already built their own government? Starting from the executive to legislature to judiciary is being surrounded by the Fulanese, including security. And you are still dreaming of becoming Igbo president in 2023. It is high time you come back to your senses. Think of Biafra and nothing but Biafra. Nigeria is not our place. Nigeria is not our home. We have a home. And we will never allow the wanderers to conquer our land. Nigeria belong to the Fulanese, as they claim. And it is too unfortunate that these governors, such as the governor of Ebony State, go to Ebony State today, you have a Mausa in Ebony State. People can't even go to farm. In Delta State today, people can't go to farm. Even in some parts of Anambra State today, people can't go to farm. And the governors, they are there waiting for 2023 Igbo presidency that will never come. How could the governor be so elusive? Since 1960, how many times have you become the president? Did you know why Atiku's mandate was taken away? It was simply because Peter B was his vice president. And Erufai swore that over his dead body, Peter B will step into Asoro. And you are here dreaming about Igbo presidency 2023. It will never come. It is high time you protect your people. It is high time you protect your land. The governor of River State is already doing that because he knows what is coming up. He knows their agenda. And you thought that your children are overseas. 
I believe that this what happened in this COVID-19 pandemic era should be an eye-opener. It should be a, a, a tip of iceberg to the governors who think that they will scatter their children abroad and then will be captured by the Alamajiris or the Fulamis. Remember that Mazen Nandi Kano told you that a time shall come, you will have no place to run to. And this pandemic era is just a tip of iceberg. Now, they went to bring back their children. They went to bring back their family. Time is coming that even in your village, you cannot even hide. Time is coming. When you think that the army that you are using to intimidate God's own people, when it will even be the army that will kill you, they won't even protect you. Because as long as that you are Biafra, they won't allow you to live in Nigeria. In their own father's estate. They won't share it with you, of course. Let the Eastern State Governors wake up. It is high time they stop killing our people, giving support to the Fulanese because of the crumbs of bread that they pick from the master's table. We are God's own people. God has given us a place, a land that is flowing with milk and honey. And I also want to remind the Alamajiris and the Fulanese who are thinking that by oppression and intimidation that we possess our land. I want to remind them the words of Mazen and the kind of some time, some time ago. He said that Biafrans, as Biafrans, we don't even need the oil to survive. And what is happening? <laughs> we tell us, yes, that as Biafrans, we don't even need oil to survive as people. Now, I, w I want you to, you, I, I can't even compare, because I can't compare an Alamajiri to a, a little child in Igbo land. Now, the Biafrans, Biafrans, from the informal education that they possess, in Biafra, instead of seeing a Biafran child going on the streets to beg, you see that child being in the serious. You see that child training herself or himself. Even in secondary school, they support their parents in their primary schools. There were children that when you go to villages, you see them, I, I don't know the, 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 the word for it in English. They, call, they said, Igampapo. instead of their friend child, we go on the street begging the child. We go into bush, pick palm nuts, do all sorts of uh, little industrious works. The child will sell them, get money, and support the family. They don't go on the street begging. So for those of you who are claiming, especially this uh, 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 Fulani, the Fulanis that bear Igbo names, when you say you are one Nigeria, I want to remind you that nothing made you one. That you are a nation. That nothing made you a nation. Nothing made you a nation. So let the governors know that Nigeria is already there, <laughs> according to the words of our great leader, Mazin Nandekano. You want to actualize your great nation that you don't have a president. Your president is a script reader. He comes out and reads script. For how many months now that we are into COVID-19, your president has never come out to address the country. He has never had an, any interactive section with the press. And you are jumping up. One Nigeria. You are jumping up. Igbo presidency. Is it this script reading president who never interacts with people that we give you the 23 Igbo presidents you are looking for? 
We always seen Mazen Adekano coming on live interactive sections. When Mazen Nadekano disappeared to Israel, when he appeared, there were rumors that he was not the one. We saw him, he came out live, he started visiting different countries, visiting his people, having live interactive section with them. That is how to prove yourself a worthy leader. And not a leader that we rule in style. According to Femi Adeshino, who said that his president, the Nigerian president, is a stylist. Wow. A stylist president. The president say, but we never see him. A president who can never evacuate his people. And that reminds me. On the 12th of this very month, even on yesterday's headlines, that Nigeria <laughs> government is going to evacuate the, uh, the stranded Nigerians in <laughs> Canada. <laughs> and today, well, today is Thursday. They said they are going to evacuate them today. What is happening? Have they evacuated them? They told us that the uh, APC uh, uh, plane uh, was already waiting to evacuate Nigerians. I want to ask you, I want to ask all the governors, if you, if you are Nigerian, I mean, if you are the same stranded, in another country. Today, other countries are talking about post-COVID-19, but Nigeria is still telling us, uh, we will uh, give uh, two months power supply to Nigeria. Uh, we are planning to evacuate Nigeria on Thursday, and Thursday has come. Today is Thursday, Thursday is here. Imagine such a country. Up till now, they have nothing on the ground. Even as they are being infected in the north by COVID-19, they are yet doing exactly nothing. Even their bachelor that they're supposed to channel to a strategic uh, project, they say they are, they are using it to, uh, they are channeling it to Abuja Express Road. And the Mazen and the Kanu spoke on, on Sunday. They now came out today to tell us on headlines. Ah, they are bachelor loot, 3.11 uh, 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 million dollars. That they are using it for, they are channeling it to Abuja Expressway, uh, Ogun Lagos Expressway. And they now added uh, East, Second Niger Bridge. Second Niger Bridge. We want to let the governors know that Nigeria will disintegrate itself. Prepare yourself. Prepare your people. If you refuse to let us go, nation will allow us to go. Because already the nation is already disintegrating Nigeria. Nigeria is already coming to an end. Imagine a country who in this pandemic era, they are still talking about school feeding program. Imagine, what is wrong with these leaders? What is wrong with them? You are feeding school children who are in North academic session for up to two months now, and you are talking about school feeding. Feeding who? Are you taking it to their homes? Uh, or, or, or do you call them to, to cook for them on the streets? Well, because they already know that Nigeria has disintegrated. That is why they loot everywhere dry. I have not heard it that a country stays without any dime in their treasury. Their treasury is, is completely dry. Now they loot and they burn. They loot and they burn. Because they know that Nigeria is gone. So for those of you who are still jumping up for 2023, I don't want to mention the so-called elders. Because when you are irrelevant or when you are irresponsible and you expect respect from people, We respect the elders who see tomorrow. We respect the elders who knows what is good for their 
youth because Nigeria has no future for their youth. That is why they have again replaced the chief of staff with a man who was born over 75 years ago. Gambari is now the chief of uh, our staff in Asoro. And the youth are there. And he wants dear friends to share the same country with people who have no dream. Dear friends have dreams. So, as I said, that history is playing out itself today by the Fulanese wanting to actualize the agenda started by Amadou Bello 100 years ago by Erufai. Because I knew, when I knew that Erufai will become Nigeria president in 2023 was when he registered his child. <laughs> in the government school. I say, wow, this is just to deceive the low mentality Nigerians who tomorrow they will say, after all, his child attends government school now. And you are jumping off from Igbo presidency. Let our people know that Nigeria will soon end to exist. That Nigeria is already disintegrating and let the Fulanese know that they cannot capture our territory because it is our God given land. I want to say thank you to all the freedom of to all the lovers of freedom all over the world, to all of you who has been following this program. I want to thank all of you. And I want to remind you to keep listening to Radio Biafra, listening to our leader, Maze Nandekano. I also want to remind you that COVID-19 is real. Forget the games or the politics being played by the Nigerian government. COVID-19 is real. Do as much as you could to protect yourself, distance yourself, make sure that you protect yourself yes, yes. because it is very very important it is very very important and the allergies they cannot infect us the chinese they cannot infect us. they know that yes, they cannot come yes. to our land please maintain social distancing always wash your hands every 10 to 20 seconds with soap and water and also I urge you to keep praying for our leader, our great leader, Maze Nandekanu, because soonest, Biafra will be actualized. I remain Wada Jovita Eze. Thank you for following. <laughs>